when I think of dust, I usually think of a common yet annoying household guest. Sometimes it's in the form of human and dog hair in the corner even after you vacuumed. It's on the ceiling fans that never seems to go away. Dust, on occasion, is everywhere in our house, and it feels like as soon as it gets tamed, it comes back with due diligence. Dust also, especially during Lent, reminds me that my flesh and bone are from dust. And as we were told last night when we got ashes on our forehead, to dust we shall return. Grief, sickness, suffering, those seasons of our lives often feel as if we're being ground into dust. That we just can't carry the diagnoses, the illnesses, the surgeries, the hunger, whether it's physical or emotional or mental, that weigh us down. The world has been a very heavy place for the last few years, and that has, well, it's ground me down. I've had some really intense dark nights of the soul where everything feels overwhelming. And yet the God we believe in takes us from those pile of ashes and pulls us up like a phoenix, remade from the refining fire the pile of ashes become a new version of us. So in this season of humility, of repentance, of shining the light in the dark crevices of our hearts and souls, be reminded, even as you feel be that you are being ground by the world and its heaviness, that God redeems us. God renews us and restores us. And that dust might just be a blessing that the hardest things that we go through are sometimes the things that force us to grow and change and to become who God has called us to be from the beginning. So whether it's dust on your ceiling fan or coffee tables or in the corner of your room, whether it's your own soul that feels it's as if it's being ground to dust, Remember that you are dust and to dust you will return and that God is with us through all of it.